guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we got very early leaks this year um, for what the Worldwide Download Celebration uh, main dual Dokkan Fest appears to be. Uh, looks like it is going to be a Super Saiyan Goku and a Final Form Cooler. Um, apparently, we're going to get some sort of small teaser for this very soon, uh, which is the reason why you know these leaks even exist um, in the first place. Now... My thoughts on this, I have no issue with this whatsoever as a dual Dokkan Fest. Um, currently, uh, the game has kind of taken an, an advance in uh, the way leader skills work, right? For five years, basically, um, it was 150% and 170% leader skills. Now that they're introducing 200% leader skills in here, right? Where, you know, now our teams just have a lot more health. Um, you know, some of these top characters are just a lot better, right? Uh, it seems as though they're gearing the content more towards that, right? We know how tough Red Zone is. Even some of the recent Extreme Super Battle World stages hit insanely hard. Definitely geared around the fact that you're going to be rocking these 200% leader skill characters, right? Now, these highest level of Red Zone fights are very tough. To the point where, you know, like, it's finally out on Global. And a lot of, I see a lot of Global players like, ha, huh, it's not even that bad. I beat it so easily. And it's like, let's take a look at their teams, right? LR Gods, LR Super Saiyan 4s, right? EZA LR Super Saiyan 4s, Tech God Goku, Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, right? Like, basically everyone's running the same lineups. Why is this? It's because right now, there's only a few incredibly powerful teams, 200% teams, that are just way above everything else, right? Now, this worldwide celebration, I would argue, is very important right now. Because as of right now, we are getting one villain... Dokkan Fest exclusive LR per year, right? Two years ago, it was LR Tanks transforming into Buhan. Last year, it was LR Full Power Frieza. This year, it appears to be Final Form Cooler. I think Final Form Cooler... Say, say what do you want to about Goku two years in a row? Sure, we'll, we'll talk about him in a second. Final Form Cooler is actually one of the best picks I think that they could do for this Dokkan Festival exclusive LR, right? If we take a look at Cooler, his links and his teams... It will allow him to, I think, carry villain characters in this game, right? Look at this guy right here. When he dropped, he was the best TUR, like, by far. Like, there was, like, nothing close to this guy. For a long time, he was the king, right? He has an incredible link set. He's on a lot of very strong teams. If we're just going to get, like, this guy easy aid and then, like, an LR version of this guy for this celebration, like, it's it's going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. Look at Cooler. Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, Brutal Beatdown, Metamorphosis, right? Then he has the two Freeze Links and Fierce Battle. It is going to be so easy to run this guy with virtually any good villain. Turles, Bojack, Frieza, Boo, Janemba. All these characters are going to work incredibly along with Cooler, right? So I think, you know, regardless of Goku, right? You know, oh my God, it's Super Saiyan Goku two years in a row. Sure, but if you think of Dragon Ball, what's the character you think of? What's the most iconic character? It's this, Super Saiyan Goku. This is what people think of, right? When Dragon Ball is brought up. So I don't have an issue with this, right? Um, I am hoping that Cooler and Goku are number one and two in the game. Right now, Vegeta and Trunks, I think, is the best unit in the game with, I would say, the LR 7th um, Anniversary, LR Gods, and LR Super Saiyan 4s um, as two and three. I am hoping that these guys are clear one and two. That's what I'm looking forward to seeing. So let's just see what some people are saying about this. Oh, here we go. Goresh. Uh, what animations they give the Goku since he has two nanoseconds of screen time. Okay, look at this reply right here, Tech Gogeta. Now, you know what's interesting about this as a reply? Is this is kind of proving Goresh's point. Tech Gogeta, his 12 key, they pretty much just made up, right? There's like some references to like heroes and stuff like that. And then the base Goku and Vegeta, like they're taking shots from Super Saiyan 2 Goku versus Majin and Vegeta into it. So I think Goresh has a pretty good point here of where are they going to get the attacks that Goku is going to use? Because remember, these are going to be Dokkan Fest LRs. We literally just got Super Saiyan Goku, right? Namek Goku, who is still, you know, I would say Namek Goku is around like a top 30 in the game unit or something like that, I, I think. Um... So, like, if we get this guy who's, like, you know, the best unit in the game and he's another Super Saiyan Goku, it could be a bit of a bummer. So, he might be, like, base Goku or Kaioken or something like that. 
But yeah, it's true. It's very possible that, you know, some of the animations Super Saiyan Goku will have are from like other fights or like sort of like Dokkan original or something like that. Um, Goku does a lot more fighting in Super Saiyan in the Metal Cooler movie. Considering I think that the theme of the celebration is going to be, you know, Goku and Cooler, it's very likely we'll see some Metal Cooler stuff during this uh, celebration. And I bet you uh, some of Goku's attacks from the Metal Cooler movie could be in his uh, LR there. Um, okay, Mr. Baby here. Mr. Baby's been blowing up recently. Let's see what he's got to say. Cooler deserves it. Yeah. Where is Z Broly? Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm backing him up on this. Um, Z Broly is definitely more deserving of a Dokkan Fest LR even than Cooler. The only thing, though, is that this slot, this Dokkan Fest LR, they're going to make ridiculous. This is their one chance where they can make a villain, like, right up there. The thing about Dragon Ball Z Broly, he is a Saiyan, like Majin Vegeta, right? So it's like... They can drop him anywhere, and it's going to be super successful, and it could be very good and stuff like that, right? Whereas, like, this, I, even though Z Broly is more deserving of it, I think it's better that Cooler is the pick. Um, Dokkan Restricted Super Saiyan Broly transforms into Legendary Super Saiyan. Wait, what? Banner Unit Base. Oh, 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 I, I see, I see. He, he, he's talking about the, um,. By restricted Super Saiyan, he's talking about the, the, uh, his profile picture, the blue-haired version right there. The one that's being mind-controlled by Paragus. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, I, I think that they could do a dual Dokkan Fest of Dragon Ball Z Broly and that Goku. They could do, like, a worldwide talent celebration around, you know, the trio of Broly movies or something like that, certainly. Um, Goku in the first movie does almost nothing. Yes, because Goku gets, you know, injured very early on protecting Gohan. And then he's out of commission basically the entire movie. So, I, I agree. Uh, yes, uh, they're going to pull animations from all over the place. I do think so. I do think so. Um, I I think that this celebration is going to end up being a big success, though. I do. Uh, total surprise worth worldwide. People want a superhero. Well, <laughs> I mean, if only someone was saying that superhero was not coming anytime soon. Man, if only, right? Uh, guess what? Dokkan can't release superhero stuff, I think. It's it's Toei. Toei's like, yeah, uh, no, 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 no. They let heroes do their thing, right? Beast Gohan is in heroes, but um, I am not anticipating uh, these big hero superhero characters in Dokkan or Legends for I, as far as I'm aware anytime soon. We'll see. We'll see. We will see. Uh, yeah, so um, Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito is probably going to be the hero's headlining unit this year. Um, that'll be at the end of November, though. Remember Global Players? Um, these guys are going to drop in, what, like three weeks? Yeah, like uh, well, no, a little bit under three weeks. These guys are coming out. Um, and they are probably going to be the best units in the game. And for Global, remember that these guys do not return. Still going. These guys are going to return on, what, the ninth right here? This is when Goku and Cooler will be returning, if you don't pull them on Global. Whereas JP will be getting these guys again on, like, the 30th of January. Um, these are the big Shaft characters for Global, right? Uh, the worldwide download units take a long time to return on Global. For JP, it's the Tanabata LR. Vegeta and Trunks will take a very long time to return on JP. Uh, fine with a million Super Saiyan Goku's coming out. He's the main character. Uh, but it's, it's the same named unit back to back years. Well, okay, we don't know this yet, though, right? I, it very easily could be a base Goku or a Kaioken Goku. Matter of fact, let's pull up Goku, um, and let's take a look at what the state is of Goku right now. Um, base Goku, Kaioken, and Super Saiyan, because those are the three sort of forms Goku uses in the cooler movie. So let's take a look here. Yeah, version Z Goku is okay. I, I'm not going to say he's super mega good. I'm going to give him okay. You could spot start him in some red zone stages, um, in some extreme super battle road stages and stuff like that. Do we think this guy's going to easy, eh? Probably, huh? I remember, you know, we were hoping that this guy was going to easy last year. If they're, man, he probably won't, they could easily easy a this guy. And then like, it definitely wouldn't be a base Goku, huh? Even though, it needs it. If I look at this, base Goku needs it for sure. Let's look at Kaioken. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, this, this guy is, like, borderline a top 10 unit in the game overall contender, I think. Like, top 15. So, it's, damn, yeah, I, uh, I kind of don't want it to be Kaioken either. Um, and then for Super Saiyan, what if they easy ate him? Do you think they would? Man, that would be crazy. I, I wonder, I, he's going to be Super Saiyan, Kaioken, or Base. I'm hoping he's Base. Base needs it more than Kaioken or Super Saiyan does. Wait, what about a movie hero Super Saiyan Goku? So we have him, and that's it? Just this guy? Yeah, because your Andres has Cell Saga. That one, of course, is from Namek. Um, yeah. And then what about Kaioken movie version? Is only this guy right here. Because this is Namek Saga. This is Saiyan Saga. Saiyan Saga. This is kind of, like, not in anything. It's got It's a mix of Saiyan and Namek Saga right there. This is a movie one. This is the Lord Slug movie one. Okay. Interesting. I don't know. I Man, I guess I would want him to be base and then he transforms or something. It's hard. We'll see. I'm I'm sure they'll nail it though. Um yeah, hopefully he's at least base or Kaioken. I I think regardless we will be able to use him and Namek Goku together, but I mean Namek Goku, I mean if he gets replaced, who cares, right? Like Namek Goku is good, but uh he's not that good. Um, well, yeah, superhero is not going to be... I'm I'm okay if they drop a new Gohan and Cell at some point. I'm totally fine with that. Um, cooler could be a Genema 200%. Yeah, so I... Th this is exactly what I was talking about with Cooler, right? And why Cooler is just crazy. If you look at um, how they've handled 200% leader skills lately, um, what they do is they kind of pick, like, a small grouping of characters. They don't want to make it too big, too robust. But I was looking at it. If they did this for Cooler right here, so Movie Boss is 170, Planetary Destruction 170. I saw people said, like, oh, that's the same thing as Int Broly. Who cares? Like, 170%, 150% leaders don't matter. They're completely irrelevant. It literally doesn't make any difference. We're, we're in the 200% meta now. And then you get the extra 200% for Transformation Boost. This is what this looks like, right? Like, this Janemba, Golden Frieza, and Kid Buu are all three, like, borderline top 20 units in the game overall, I would say, that don't have a 200% leader at all. Then Full Power Frieza, right, um, I think is around that same level. Um, and this Full Power Frieza, he has a 200% Ginyu's team, but it's not a good 200% for him. This would be crazy. Imagine Cooler is the best unit in the game, and then using Janemba, LR Golden Frieza, and Kid Buu as his partners. Like, that team would, would be the best team in the game or something, probably. Like, I feel like people... Janemba has literally been underrated since the second he was announced, right? People were trying to say, oh, he's not going to guard in slot one. People are trying to say he's bad. This guy will reign along with Cooler because they link up good. Dude, Janemba usually has Metamorphosis, Big Bad Bosses, Fierce Battle, right? Like, Big Bad Bosses and Metamorphosis... That's 35% attack and defense, HP regen, and then Fierce Battle as well, right? And Janemba could have Brutal Beatdown as well. Oh, no, do, wait, what? what is Janemba's link set? Let me actually look at He He doesn't have Brutal Beatdown, right? I actually have to double check here. What is Janemba's link set? Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Metamorphosis, Brutal Beatdown, Fear and Faith, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. So, Cooler and Janemba, dude, they could share Big Bad Bosses, Metamorphosis, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power, and Brutal Beatdown. They could have five links together, LR Janemba and LR Cooler. What, well, what would they take away from Cooler? I feel like they probably will take away Brutal Beatdown, actually. We really want him to keep Metamorphosis. That's a really good link. We want him to keep Thirst for Conquest. They better keep this. Because one of these will be replaced with Legendary Power, right? Um, it's not going to be the Frieza clan links. They're definitely not going to get rid of those or big bad bosses or fierce battle. So it's thirst for conquest, brutal beatdown or metamorphosis. One of those three will be replaced. I think we want it to be brutal beatdown. Um, metamorphosis and thirst for conquest. Like this is so good for Bojack and Turles, right? And then this is good for like Janemba and Kid Buu and stuff like that. Kid Buu has metamorphosis, right? I believe he does. He does not. Kid Buu does not have metamorphosis. Okay. 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 Um, but yeah, yeah, so I, I think that that would be a great team. Would skip for Superhero? Sure, but I, again, at Superhero, it's not, there's no, like, timetable on Superhero, right? It's just, and 
until Toei decides, oh yeah, we dropped a movie, we should probably market it. Maybe it would be maybe it'd be good for the movie if uh, I don't know we put the characters in the games to kind of like like build it up. Until they decide to do that, we're not going to see it, unfortunately. Uh, home is hope his name isn't the same as damn it Goku. So again, it need to be base or Kaioken for that. Um, putting all your stone swords cooler easily. Uh, villains need a large boost unless Goku's top three in the game going to go on for cooler. I think the possibility of Goku being top three is very high. Last year. Uh, I, I definitely, I, I think I was correct in my assessment last year of UI Goku 1, Frieza 2, and Namek Goku 3, right? That, that was what I was thinking at the time after they dropped, and I, I, I still like that, like, especially the way things have turned out. Um, so, I mean, even if we had that, let's say we get a, an exact repeat, that means Vegeta and Trunks would be the best unit in the game, um, and then Cooler and Goku would be 2 and 3 better than the 7th Anniversary LRs, that'd be crazy, right? Yeah, I agree. I, I love I love Cooler. I'm glad that he's getting it. Cooler and Jen are your favorite villains. Well, they work really well together, so it'll be good for you. Um, yeah, I, I guess yeah, Janemba. Yeah, I, I guess Janemba did come out this year for Global, huh? Yeah, if, on JP, Janemba's already a year old. <laughs> uh, Vegito versus Buhan was more hype. Okay, noob. Uh, yeah, Vegito is the most popular Dragon Ball character, man. Yeah, like yeah. Uh, they're not going to top a Vegito <laughs> celebration ever. But guess what? I mean, we're due for some Vegitos, baby. I cannot wait for that. You'd be more excited for Goku vs. Cell. True, but I mean, that they pretty much just did Goku vs. Cell, sort of, right? Uh, yeah, hopefully he's Kaioken or base Goku first. I agree, I agree. Um, cooler best pick for a villain leader, I agree. Yes, 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 yes. Because cooler, cooler is on so many of these villain teams he has such a good villain link set. Like, Cooler is a amazing pick, I think. Um, dude, space traveling warriors could be insane. We just got, like, Chi-Li as, like, a god-level support for that team. Chi-Li would go crazy, potentially, on this team. Um, let's look at some of the quotes as well. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm going to assume... Oh, I love the Fabuki in the profile pic there. I'm going to assume, though, uh, it, Goat is probably Super Saiyan Goku. Could be cooler, one of them. Meh character choices. I, again, I can understand Super Saiyan Goku because, again, we, we literally just got a best game in the unit or best unit in the game contender of Super Saiyan Goku. I do not agree that Cooler is a meh choice, though. Especially, there is. Actually, can I? I could probably just pull this up as a Twitter GIF. Hold on. Um. <clears throat> cooler i think could very easily have a ridiculous beam nullification right uh i'm just gonna try and pull this gif up on yeah dude right here this right like this could be an animation cooler beam nullification could you imagine Cooler has a beam nullification and then you also have Chinemba who has a beam nullification? Like how ridiculous that would be. It'd be insane. Absolutely crazy. Um, yep. Yeah, th th that's, that's, that's what, uh, Oriwa Uchu Saikyuda! Yeah, <laughs> Cooler. Yeah, that's his, uh, green card in Legends right there. I love that, man. I love that. Yeah, Goresh, Goresh actually was saying that the other day. Do you think that's what his active skill will be? It's got to be, right? That's like his line. Th this is probably going to be an active skill or something. It's got to be. Uh, find dual Dokkan Fest for not for worldwide. A again, I disagree just because um, this, I think, is a great pick for the Dokkan Fest LR, right? Because this is the one Dokkan Fest LR that villains are going to get. I just really feel like Cooler is a great pick, right? I I'm telling you guys... The Super Saiyan Goku, right now, people are upset about, but when the animations drop, it's not going to be an issue, right? People are going to love this Goku, right? I I'm sure they're going to nail it. Superhero would have been way better. That's that's fine, but again, I it's not... One thing I just need everyone to understand, it's, it's not up to Dokkan. If it was up to Dokkan, I guarantee you the movie stuff would have came out months ago on JP. It's not up to Dokkan when they can release the superhero stuff. Toei is not handling this the way they handled the Broly movie, where all the Broly movie stuff was dropped right away. For whatever reason, they're just like, yeah, we're not doing that this time. We're just going to let the, the brand die. That's what they decided. 
Not excited for these two. Okay. Movies one of your least favorite. Okay. <laughs> I will agree. The, the Cooler movie is very similar, I think, to the Gogeta movie. In that a lot of it is not that great. But then it's really good when it's good. Right? Like, when Goku and Cooler are fighting, this movie is raw. But a lot of the, like, Gohan going for the Senzu and stuff like that is not the craziest ever. Right? You don't care for a retread of Namek Goku. Again, we'll, we'll see what he's like. We'll see what he's like. Um, Because, again, I, immediately they could have two god easy A's. These, imagine this celebration with these two as the easy A's, man. Like, how, how freaking nuts this is if these guys easy A. Like, it just how, how insane this is going to be, right? Like, cool, dude, this cooler, if he's, like, the best easy A T U R, like, this, his leader skill is going to be three key and 170 percent to these this is going to be a legitimate team like this would be a, this is a real team uh name it goku i guess sort of as well right 170 to these two categories but like jeez uh, that could be crazy man goku and cooler celebrations a bottom tier pick okay okay yeah people uh, a lot of people are not really too excited about this okay okay last possible option purely because of cooler well what i mean dude cool Come on, Cooler is like I, the raw one of the rawest villains. Like, hello, look at this design. <laughs> Come on, it's like Shredder from Ninja Turtles. Man, he's sick. Um, okay, very exciting in the three main aspects I care about: summonable units. So, like, you know, Cooler, Goku. Who are the ban? Uh, dude, are they gonna give us a Piccolo banner unit again? <laughs> that, surely they're not fumbling him this time. Easy A's, yeah, dog. Yeah, in terms of easy A's. These could be the two easy A's, man. Like, I, I think that that's uh, a massive W. I'm just saying. I think if those are the two easy A's, that's a W. Um, and free-to-play units. Hard to say what the free-to-play units are going to be like. Also, skip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everyone. I'd say skip Raditz. I, I don't. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Global Player. Summon for Raditz, man. Use him in, in the red zone. And in the extreme super battle road. See how well he works out. Uh, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Th this is still, th this Super Saiyan Goku with, like, the fluffy hair and stuff like that, like, the Namek, like, era Super Saiyan design was so good. I agree. I agree. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Cooler is gonna be disgusting, for sure. Cooler boss a lot of teams that need it. Yep, Easy A's could be really hype. Yep. Uh, yes, yes. Th dude, this, this is exact. If you guys are not aware, when we were getting leaks that it looked like the anniversary is gonna be double Gogeta... People were so mad. Double Gogeta, they're ruining the game. It's such a terrible decision, blah, 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 blah. I've never heard a single complaint. The second the, the animations came come out, complaints disappear. It hap you guys might not remember, when Super Vegito and Buhan, when we found out it was Super Vegito, people were upset. Another Vegito, people were mad. But guess what happened? The second those animations came out, no one cared. Everyone loved it. They, they adored it. They all summoned for Vegito. It's probably what's going to happen here. Uh, okay, this is correct. Universal Survival Saga is, like, dead. Uh, it's The team is dead. There is potential in there. There's a lot that they could do. It, it, it is just crazy, like, how explosive Power Creep has been lately. Because, like, I say that Universal Survival Saga is dead. And, like, they get... They've gotten... Con oh, it, the page crashed the second I open it. That's nice. Thank you, thank you. I literally... Just wanted to pull up Universal Survival Saga, man. That's that's all. Can I just pull up Universal Survival Saga without a crash head, please? Please? Yeah, it's one of the first categories. Okay. Um, so, like, if we take a look at this, you're good, but you've fallen off a bit. Uh, they're, like, meh, but they've fallen off a lot. Right? You suck. They're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're, like, okay. But it's like, if he doesn't dodge, he's not doing anything. You're okay. I mean, you could help out in some stages, right? Hidden God Goku are really good. Um, they suck. They suck. Like if we go through all these all these characters of H out. They all suck, right? Like this team is completely a zero, right? Uh, Tech Hit can be solid, but I feel like you know he he was much better before the two hundred percent red zone power jump, right? Um, so like this team needs like a complete overhaul, complete revamp. Oh, you do have this guy is really good. I, I do like this guy quite a bit. But, like, there's a lot of characters that could easy A in here. All right? I mean, they could give 
um, Blue Cow can Goku and EZA, and that could be very big for the team, right? A bunch of stuff like that. Um, but yeah, there there's a lot that they could do, actually, um, for Universal Survival Saga. Don't think it's even possible to beat Broly or Omega with uh, Universal Survival Saga or Refs Universe 7. You could definitely beat Omega, for sure. Um, Broly would be really tough. It's like, you would need um, to definitely revive i think against aoe broly i it, it it would dude it would be tough to beat broly with universal so that'd be a good challenge to do feels very unoriginal i'm sure yeah yeah but okay yeah, yeah but but uh i hate shiny right here he gets it he gets it right like once the animations come out yeah yeah, yeah. uh well okay because okay 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 here's the thing about this a lot of the Dragon Ball Z movies are pretty much just retreads, right? Like, the Slug movie, right? Like, the Turles movie. Turles movie is just redoing Saiyan Saga, right? This is just redoing the Namek Saga. Lord Slug is kind of redoing a little bit of just, like, Kid Goku versus Demon King Piccolo, right? Like, a lot of the Dragon Ball Z movies were just, like, they're just redoing the arc just as a movie, essentially. It, like, if you, you could kind of boil it down to that for a bunch of the movies. So, like, yeah, I, that's not wrong, because, yeah, that's sort of what the movie is, right? Okay, goaded, cool. Uh, yeah, I would love this. Uh, 23rd World Tournament, Goku and Majunior would be very fire. I agree, I agree. Quote meta. Cool deserves an LR. It's a shame he hasn't gotten one. Broly movie, Trunk Saga, or GT. Well, remember, we did just get Trunk Saga, but I do think we could still get another Fusion Zamasu. Goku Black, like Super Saiyan Rose could get a better card. There's still... Dokkan has still got a lot in it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goku that goes full power with the ritual would be pretty fire. I agree. They will be raw, correct? No complaints? Okay, cool. Fine. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I don't think you have to say, please make him busted. I bet you that that boy is going to be crazy. I'm pretty certain on that. Okay with Wish Movie Broly. What? A bit random, you don't hate it, but you're not a fan. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, Ninja. Back to back Super Saiyan Goku. Sort I yeah, I mean for worldwide, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, people are definitely seeming excited for uh cooler though. That's good, that's good. Yeah, this is yeah, this is a video. It is, it is. Best option was superhero, yeah, but yeah, exactly. This is correct. Yep. Blame Toei. All right, I think we'll finish there. Um, let me know what you guys think uh, about Cooler um, and Goku uh, for the very, very. <laughs> yes, hi, YouTube. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these guys as the Worldwide Talent Celebration. Um, right now, you know, I, I could certainly understand people being like, oh my god, another Goku or. You know, I would like this character, that character, sure, 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 sure. But, like, imagine, you know, this is the part one dual Dokkan Fest. Part two summonable LRs could be Metal Cooler and then a Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta from the Metal Cooler movie. Like, like this this celebration could be fire, right? Like, they could give us, like, a really good Piccolo. They could give us a Gohan, a Krillin. Like, there, there's a lot of stuff they could do um, that could be really good for this celebration, right? They could do so many different interesting EZAs. SDR Cooler, AGL Metal Cooler, Namek Goku. We have so many possibilities for the celebration to be really good, right? So, um, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, by the way, Metal Cooler is not a red zone stage. So, I wonder if they could do, like, maybe... I, I would really love for them to drop a new red zone, right? Like, I, I, I like the format that they do with red zone. I think that's really good support memory all the different stages with gimmicks I, I think they could easily just drop a red zone around like all the fighters of the two cooler movies or something like that even though cooler already has a stage i think they could easily you know get something around metal cooler but let me know what you guys think uh thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next time